Hi, my name is Mike Bishop. I'm a filmmaker and photographer based in Los Angeles. I've been working in commercials and film industry. I've made several short films that have won awards at film festivals all over the world. The last six years have been really heavily dedicated to using drones to create dynamic camera moves and kind of capture the world in a different way. Since I started using drones, it's kind of taken me all over the world to some really interesting places and I'm always trying to capture these uh, unique perspectives and kind of showcase locations in a way people haven't seen before. So I'm going to take you to some of the places I like to go to shoot and walk you through a bit of my process and the drones that I like to use. And then once I get this footage, how I take it and post process it and upload to Adobe Stock. Um, I hope you can learn something today and let's go check it out. little bit in the shade, but man, that is freaking cool. All right, so we're ready to go. I got my FPV drone set up to go shoot some cinematic. Uh, my long range footage of these mountains here and my goggles. I have this remote here. What I recommend for somebody who is new to, you know, drones or new to FPV specifically is you start with the remote, which you can then use with a flight simulator at home to really learn the controls and how to operate this. And then when you're ready to take it outside, once you're comfortable flying, you get a small drone like this to fly around at a park or in your front yard. This one is called the toothpick. And then when you're ready, you can step up to the big boys and get something like this, which is a five inch quad, which the five inches is the, the size of the props on it. And it carries a GoPro or an Osmo Action. We have an ND filter on here, which can give you some nice motion blur when you're flying close to stuff. I turn the stabilization off in the camera because I actually like to do the stabilizing in post-production. Now I'm going to show you how I fly it. So we're driving around looking for spots to shoot and we found this really cool valley, which is behind me here. So you can see the clouds are rolling over the hills. The sun's about to set behind the mountains and it's just kind of ideal shooting conditions. So we're gonna get in the car and drive down there and see what we can get. Let's go.
All right, I hope you enjoyed following along with me and seeing how I capture some of this imagery using drones and FPV. Now we're gonna head into the editing bay and do some post-processing. I'm gonna teach you some of the tricks I use to make the footage just that much better in post-production and preparing it to upload to Adobe Stock. All right, so we're back in the studio now. I just brought my clips into Adobe Premiere and pulled some selects. So what I like to do is send those over to After Effects where I add a warp stabilizer and use optics compensation to get rid of the fisheye. Um, for stock footage, I don't tend to color it very much just because most people who would buy stock want to do that aspect themselves. Once the warp stabilizer is done doing its thing, uh, I add to the render queue and render it out at ProRes 4K, 24 frames per second. And once that is done, uh, it's ready to upload to Adobe Stock. I hope you guys learned something. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to me uh, on Instagram at MikeBishop.tv. I hope you enjoyed this and take care.